Cool, great. Question 175. So um, <clears throat> this is about, again, what I'm not going to do, I mean, I've, I've in, it's just that those videos didn't record, but what, when I say what I'm not going to do, what I mean is that your controls work is excellent, really good. So I'm going to spend some more time. I mean, I'll go through it, but I'm going to spend some more time on these sort of little little uh, questions. Again, like I guess all good exam practice, don't get bogged down too much by these three markers or four markers at the beginning. It's knowledge. Shoot it and just shoot as hard as you can and let it go. So um, e explain examples of matters the auditors should consider in determining whether a, a deficiency in internal controls is significant. So really just think about it as you're walking into a room and feeling that and trying to get a feel of, of the culture or the environment <clears throat> or you're looking at the financial statements and you're seeing a number of things where there's a lot of estimation and the, 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 you're feeling right um, for, for, for me to trust that these figures or to trust that the output here is, is, is fair for, on a day-to-day -day basis there needs to be good controls in place so anything ranging from the fact that we're talking about really expensive material or really expensive stuff or inventory here, um, or if you like, even up to safeguarding matters uh, where they're dealing with uh, more public, uh, more um, vulnerable uh, <clears throat> subjects, or just the culture, if you like, um, where you feel the culture is a bit, seems to be very relaxed, or where you see you notice know, a very dominant. CEO, that sort of thing um, is, is evidence, is, is enough evidence to guide you. So um, and I think this kind of covers that generally, is, is, is the issue here. How you phrase that, that that's, that's really yours. I, I like this one, the importance of controls. How, how significant do they feel, does the organization feel that controls are important to the financial reporting process? Can you observe this, when I say controls, we look at crime, yes, control environment, the processes in place, segregation of duty, authorization, all within um, <clears throat> control activities. So, and then of course, again, like I say, you're looking at the, the, the general environment as well, and, how easy is it for you to have fraud, <clears throat> people stealing inventory, that sort of thing. So that's this is just a very more conceptual question. And then again, it goes into talk about, and let's just shoot that down, your work on um, the controls are very good again. Sorry, then they ask you again about objectives. Again, like I said, objectives are why. Why do we have, why are we doing this? Why are we trying to prevent? What are we trying to prevent? What are we trying to ensure? So you can see it always starts off to ensure. That's how you should write yours as well. That's the language you want to use. So um, again, all these are perfect here. Again, they all they'll jump out, and you talk about the consequences as you go along. Um, he's reviewing only a few orders. Um, you can see that you can see their issues if if it takes too long. If there are delays. Um, potential loss of revenue, customer dissatisfaction, you highlighted the consequences there. Um, purchase invoices are only entered onto the, once it has been agreed and sent to the purchase director. Um, so you have a lot of time, a lot of time lapse in this question, but you're picking up on the key points. You've picked up on all the points. I read all of this and this is all very good. You can go through this again. I don't even think you need to. I think your controls are very good now. So we've done pay we've done payroll. We've done bank of cash, we've done inventory, we've done non-current assets, A, and we are now on to payables, which is why these questions are really important to do, because it takes you literally through all the different balances. With trade payables, this is a liability. This is on the statement of financial position. We're talking about existence. We're talking about completeness. We're talking about valuation. We're talking about classification, right? So completeness is are all of them there are all the supply statements there. And the best way to do that is to reconcile, if you like, the purchase ledger control account, if you like, to the supplier statements that the suppliers will send us from time to time. And if we don't have one, and you can circularize. When I say circularize, you can actually send out an email or send out a, a letter to the suppliers asking to confirm whether those figures, whether what we claim that we owe them, what we claim, what the organization claims they owe is what it really is. 
vehicle as positive circularizations. Um, and of course, completeness, you want to make sure that all the supply and supply um, the invoices are on there for the period. And classification, of course, you know, you have within the year or <clears throat> look at debit balances, you want to make sure you get rid of those. That those aren't um, reducing the actual figure that it should be, because if it's a debit balance, then it technically is a, it's a, it's a trade receivable because we now owe or we are now owed. Sorry, um, because we have overpaid, but we don't know. We, we need to. That's why you need to review those things. Cool, great. So I, I thought this. Of course, there's the analytical. You can't forget that as well. A lot, a lot there, a lot there. Um, any significant exceptions? You could almost just as you practice this, you start picking up a range of different tests. You can't be doing a range of things. Cool, great. So this is trade payables, right? So think about those things: existence, valuation, um, well, valuation, more completeness. I would call more completeness. Just even thinking about it, you can sort of see um, rights and obligations. You owe it, so it has to be in there. Cool, great. <clears throat> 